let's discuss today's problem and today's problem is range sum of BST so in this tutorial first we will understand the problem statement then I'll discuss how we can approach this problem and finally we will write its Java codes so now let's first understand the problem statement so in this problem we have given the root node of a binary search tree and we have to return the sum of values of all nodes with a value in the range so we have given the range and we have to return the sum of all the nodes which lies in this range let's see the first example in this example we have given a binary search tree and the range the value of low is 7 and the value of high is 15 so we have to find all the nodes whose values lies in this range and we have to return their sum so let's see all the nodes whose values lies in this range one node is this one second is this one and third is this one and if we do their sum their sum is 32 so 32 is the output and let's discuss the property of binary search tree so it will help us to solve this problem efficiently so in binary search tree all nodes of left subtree are less than the root node and all nodes of the right subtree are greater than the root node and the most important thing is all the nodes of left and right subtree are also binary search tree for example in this binary search tree the value of the root node is 10 so value the value of its left child is 5 which is less than the value of root node and the value of right child is 15 which is greater than the value of the root node now let's consider this as the root node now again let's see the value of its left child is less than the value of the root node and the value of its right child is greater than the value of its uh, its uh, root node so i mean this node and all the values in the left subtree is less than this value which is 10 and all the values in right subtree is greater than this value 10 so uh, this property the property of binary search tree help us to solve this problem efficiently now let's move to the second example in this example the range is so the value of low is 6 and the value of high is 10 so the range is 6 to 10 so we have to find all the nodes whose values lies in this range and return their sum so the nodes are this one this one and this one and if we do their sum it is 23 so the result the uh, return value is 23 so this is the problem statement and now let's discuss multiple approaches to solve this problem let's start with the easiest approach and then we will improve our solution the easiest approach is to use any tree traversal algorithm and find all the nodes which lies in the given range and do their sum and return the result and we can use any tree traversal algorithm so either you can use level order traversal in order traversal pre-order or post order traversal so in my previous tutorials i have already explained level order traversal couple of times i'll mention their link in the description box in this example i have solved this problem using in order traversal so what is in order traversal so in in order traversal first we visit left subtree then we visit root and then we visit right subtree so let's see how we can solve this problem using in order traversal and after that uh, we will optimize our current solution and solve this problem efficiently so in in order traversal so let's start with the root and then visit its left child and when we reach at this node visit its left child again and now when we reach at this node so there is no left and right child of this node so we come back at this node and we check whether this node value 3 lies in this range so here is the code so we call this method recursively until the left child of a node is not null so we when we start from the root node we call its left child so when we visit uh, so when when we <coughs> reach at this node we call its left child 
and when we visit at this node we call its left child but left child is null so now we take this node value and we check whether it lies in this range whether it lies in this range no so we reach at this statement and we call this method again with its right child but its right child is also null so we return from this method call and we go back to this function call so now we take this uh, node value 5 and we check whether it lies in this range no so we reach at this statement and we call this method with its right child and its right child is 7 so now when we recursively call uh, this method with its right child again we check with its left child it is null so now we reach at this node and we check whether 7 lies in this range yes 7 lies in this range so initial value of sum is 0 so we add 7 and we again when we reach at this statement we call this method this calculate sum with its right child which is null so we return from this method call we reach at this statement which is already i mean this is already this node is already visited so we reach here at the root node and we check whether 10 lies in this range so the value of sum is 7 so 10 lies in this range let's add 10 and now the new value is 17 so when we reach at this method uh, so at this line we call its right child we call this method with its right child and when we reach at this node again it will call recursively for its left child which is null so we come back at this node and we add 15 so now the new value is 32 so when we reach at this method call again we call its right child and for right child again we check its left and right which is null so we come back at this node and we check whether it lies in this range no so after that the value of sum is 32 so when we are done with this method call we return this value approach what's wrong with this approach so using this approach we are visiting each node of binary search tree so we have not used the property of binary search tree so let's see how we can optimize this approach let's first talk about its time complexity so its time complexity is big o of n as we are visiting each node of a binary search tree and now let's see after using the property of binary search tree how we can optimize uh, this approach let's discuss how we can optimize our previous approach to solve this problem efficiently so in our previous approach we have visited all the nodes of a binary search tree and we check whether the node value lies in the given range if it is we add the node value in the sum variable and after the complete traversal of a binary search tree we return the result we return the value of the sum so we have not used the property of a binary search tree we know in binary search tree all nodes of left subtree are less than the root value and all nodes of right subtree are greater than the root value and all the nodes of left and right subtree is also a bst using this property if we compare the start range with the root node value so given this range the value of low is 7 which is start range and the value of high is 15 which is the end range so the range given is 7 to 15 so if we compare the start range value with the root node value and if the value of root node is greater than the start range it means there is a possibility that in the left subtree some nodes value falls in this range for example let's say if we compare this 7 with 10 so 10 is greater than 7 so we know all the values in left subtree is less than 
this root node value and all the node values in the right subtree is greater than this value 10 so now we are traversing the left and right subtree recursively so let's move to this node and again this node acts as a root node for their child nodes so now we compare again 5 with 7 so is 5 is greater than 7 no so we we are sure that there is no node in this left subtree which falls in this range because all the values in the left subtree is less than this value this 5 so we discard this portion and we compare is the value of high so high it means the end range is greater than the root node value so yes it is so it means there is a possibility that in right subtree there are some node values which falls in this range so we move to right subtree and we check whether this node values lies in this range if it is then add this value in the sum variable and again when we move in right subtree again we compare if the value of high 15 is greater than 10 yes so let's move in right subtree and again we compare uh, again this value is 15 again we compare is the value of high is greater than 15 no so discard this right subtree portion because all the values in right subtree is greater than this value which is 15 so using this property we we avoid visiting all the nodes of a binary search tree so let's discuss the java code and this code is similar uh, code which i have already discussed in the previous approach so only these two conditions are new and these two condition is basically the optimization which uh, which i have talked in this example so these the purpose of these two condition is to avoid visiting the nodes which does not lies in the given range so again i have used the in order traversal to solve this problem and now let's talk about its time complexity so its time complexity is again big o of n and why it is so in worst case now let's suppose given the range in which we have to visit all the nodes of a binary search tree in that case the time complexity would be big o of n and its a space complexity is also big o of n because in recursion uh, the fu the function call is put in a call stack and it's it's an overhead it's the extra space uh, we are using because of uh, this recursion and that's why the space complexity is also big o of n so that's it for this video tutorial and uh, if you know any other approach to solve this problem please let us know through your comments and thanks for watching this video Thank you.